Hey everybody, I am joined by the wonderful and amazing Elle Mills. Elle Mills. So tell my audience a little bit about you. Yeah, so um, I make videos about my life in little like short movies. I like to say to people who haven't watched them, like if, think if Ferris Bueller had a YouTube channel. Oh, that's it. Yeah, I do. I, I agree. Yes. But I love her content. I will link all of her things down in the description and we've done a video over there, so you have to check that out. But I really just wanted you to share, because you've kind of been on a journey, mm -hmm. we could say, in the past two years? Yeah. I know you've talked openly about being burnt out. Like you put out your video, I think it was burnt out at 19, yes. right? Um, can you tell us a little bit about what that felt like or what that experience? I think a lot of people throw around the term burnout. And what did it feel like for you? Yeah, for me, it was the my breaking point, basically, where I couldn't do any more. And if I had gone any further, I don't know where I would be. Um, so I um, was working myself to exhaustion. I was um, doing too much at once, too much that I, I, I couldn't handle it. Um, and it was just because I was growing so fast, I couldn't keep up with it. Mm -hmm. um, I, um, I don't know, I like gained a million in a year. And so like- uh, That comes with pressure. I, I yeah. feel, yeah. Yeah, and so like- Not it, that I've gained a million in a year. No, <laughs> yeah. but like, uh, it was just, like, I feel like a lot of it also came like, I had my coming out video go viral, mm -hmm. and then it became a pressure to be representation for mm -hmm. the LGBT community. Versus and just being L. Exactly. As L's always been. Exactly. And also before that, before the coming out video, there was still pressure to make content that was bigger and better, and like, trying to top myself every, mm -hmm. every week. And you do huge projects, like, mm -hmm. Not even, like, one of the most recent ones was putting all the balloons on your house. Like, yeah. The, doing the up. Yeah, up house, yeah. Like, yeah. turn my house into up. Um, yeah, so I don't, like, it's not, like, easy videos to make. And so I was doing that once a week on that scale. Yeah. And um, I also then, Casey and I said, was, gave me a huge shout out on this video. And then that became a different level where other creators were, like, you know, talking about me and I felt pressure because I was a huge YouTube fan growing mm -hmm. up. And so there was just like all these external pressures in with on top of the internal pressure. And I started, I think I experienced my first panic attack on tour. So then I went on tour in April mm -hmm. and it was just like traveling and never being home and all of it just spiraling and then convention. And after, it was after Playlist Live mm -hmm. in Orlando. I remember because I was there mm -hmm. and you were like, you were just doing so much, mm -hmm. like back to back to back, back to back, doing all sorts of shit. Yeah. And I was like, it's a lot. Mm -hmm, it is. And then as you do more, and the thing about the internet that is wonderful and terrible is that as you do more, then they expect more. Mm -hmm. Like you said, like always trying to top yourself. When your videos honestly would take any other like production company months to put together. Yeah. And you're expected to do it like on the weekly basis. Mm -hmm. And that's a lot. Mm -hmm. So what made you realize it's just so exhausted? Did you think something was wrong with you or? That, the, what made me realize I was burnt out? Yeah. Um, I had a mental breakdown. And so, and I, it made it very public. I, uh, yeah, so I had a huge pu public breakdown and I posted this video and I made everyone very concerned. Um, and that day, I remember that day being very, a very, very bad day. Um, my, probably my darkest day. And then after that, that's when my manager and my family decided I needed a break. Mm -hmm. And it was kind of like, mutual decision yeah. like they're like it was just them stepping in and being like okay you're done now and yeah. so that was, that was, good? was it like a relief yeah oh my gosh because i had i remember right after right after playlist that weekend i was supposed to go back on tour and then the week after that travel some to new york for some like filming something That's so much stuff yeah and then it couldn't i was making videos on top of that so Holy um, shit, yeah so that's when i it's like i feel like everyone kind of realized Mm -hmm. And obviously the mental breakdown was like a big Well, sign. yeah, you can only take so much, right? And you've struggled off and on with depression. Mm -hmm. Am I right or is that more burnout? Um, it, I'd say it was, de yeah, depression. But I've only started experiencing that during, after, it was like once I started YouTube. Okay. Yeah, so it's very recent. Yeah, do you think, because I've always felt that it's a lot of energy out of ourselves to create. Mm -hmm. And this is no dog, like I love what I do. I'm sure you love what you do too. Yeah. But I think it, it definitely can be hard and especially all the instant feedback, mm -hmm. which can be good or bad. Do you think that's what's created it? Yeah, kind of? and seeing like, every knowing that everyone can see how well I'm doing and I can see how well I'm doing mm -hmm. by the views and numbers. So like, it's not just me like, oh, I know I'm doing bad, but everyone else can see if I'm doing bad as well. Like yeah. just having that. Yeah, sure. and that sucks. Like, especially if we felt like the high mm -hmm. and then it, people are like, oh, you're not growing at the same rate. You know, like everybody can see all that data. Yeah, it's like sure. Yeah, totally. Mm -hmm. 
So you you took a break, and yes. then what else have you done? Because you are doing much better. Yes. I can just tell from like seeing you around. I'm like, oh, I think she's happier. I think yeah. she's doing. She's more like herself. Mm -hmm. I'm definitely doing better. Um, so like I think being open with everyone has been really helpful because I know I'm very hard on myself, and I also. I don't like, I guess it's the best word for it is self-sabotage. I don't know what it is. Like mm -hmm. I make, I like push myself to my limit and I have people now who are there and saying, no, you can't do that. Like I, I had, I think last week I was doing like every hour I was doing something and then okay. um, my, uh, after, it was after, oh, never mind. I was filming something uh -huh. all day. Sorry, yes, 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 yes. I was filming something all day and I only got back, I got back at like 12 a.m. And my manager, day, yeah. yeah, my manager said, I think I'm going to cancel the two meetings tomorrow. And I'm like, no, no, I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. I don't know. And I know I knew I couldn't. I, w I was literally crying. Well, you, you physically could get there, but yeah. mentally. Like, and so he stepped in and he said, that's no. That's good. So, yeah. yeah. So like having those people there has been really helpful. Obviously I, I have no set schedule for my videos. Um, so that's so removing that pressure mm -hmm. and just posting whenever I'm inspired or whenever I want to make a video. Um, and yeah, just taking time, just taking time for myself for sure. Mm -hmm. It's been helpful. It sounds like maybe you're more kind of, I'm that way too, like type A, where I'm like, oh, I'll do it. I can do it all. Yeah. Like, I'll just put it in my schedule and I'll just make it happen and I'll just, until I'm like crying, mm -hmm. watching television or yeah. something random. Yes. And I'm like, wow, gotta, I give, I, I'm like, I need to get back in therapy and go for walks. Mm -hmm. That helps me like take care of myself. So do you still, it sounds like it's still a balance, but you definitely have like things in place, people in place. Are there certain things that you do that have been like the most helpful? Like, have you tried therapy? I don't even know. I know we've talked about yeah, stuff. Off and off. I I did it for a bit, but then I moved, so I haven't been able mm. to find one because I've yeah. also been tra. The problem with my other therapist is I kept on traveling, mm -hmm. and um, they would be too busy, and so like our schedules didn't match up, and so. That's, I, I still have to dive more into that. Yeah, figure out what works for you. Exactly. In-person therapy doesn't work for everybody because we do travel a lot. Mm -hmm. it makes it hard to be regular. Yeah, for sure. Um, but I often just like kind of talk out my feelings to certain friends and mm -hmm. stuff. Yeah. That's good, having a support system. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Cool. Any advice to any viewers that might be feeling kind of down and out or pushed to their limit with work, school, whatever? Yeah. I, I think it's so simple, but like literally take time for yourself. I think um, just knowing that you just don't push yourself too much because, you know, life's too short. Um, and just like, I, I think I think for me, I what pushed me to the point of a mental breakdown was that I didn't talk to anyone about it. And I think it's very helpful to kind of get help and talk about how you're feeling and like, People will help and people will take care of you. People care about you. People yeah. will want to, want to support you and all that. So. Yeah, and like listen and support. Friends, friends are great for that. And even groups on Facebook are great for that. Because I think a lot of it, at least even for me, is like permission. Permission to take a break. Permission to, to take time to like, oh, I need to go for a walk. Even if I'm like, yeah. shit, I don't, I don't really have the time in my day. But, but I always tell, like I even tell Sean, I'm like, I can't do other things if I don't do this. So. Yeah. This is a priority. Exactly. Yeah. But then I'm still like, I feel guilty. <laughs> yeah, I know. Me too. But having them, having a friend being like, no, you're going to go out and go to a movie with us yeah. instead is, it's nice. Yeah. yeah. Good. Well, I'm glad you're doing better. Well, thank you. And thanks for sharing your story. And like I said, she does have other videos where she, you really deep dive into like how it was and you can kind of see the progression, which I'm just glad you're doing better. Yeah. Thank you so and much. And thanks for filming with oh, me. Oh, no worries. Yay. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye.